Another modern technique like multiphonics is singing and playing. Now this, this is really becoming a major part of playing now, but also we can actually use it to help our development of sound because we want to use as much of the vocal cords as possible, even down into the upper chest. So if I sing a note, and pardon me, my singing is awful, but I'll try my best. So if I sing an A, ah, uh, and it doesn't matter what octave you sing in, so if you're a high voice, low voice, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, and notice that I'm singing with as open a mouth as possible, ah. Uh, Now if I combine the two, we should get this, but concentrate mainly on the singing sound, not the flute sound. And then go straight into play, playing without singing. And you should really involve all of down here and you get a much bigger warmer, warmer sound without even trying too hard. So make sure you involve all of this. Singing and playing you can do ma mainly very fun things with. If you combine it with multiphonics you can get... It's all out there, just use it. But let me just recap this again. It doesn't matter what octave you sing in, the main thing is that your, your vocal cords are in the position of singing. So I'll do this again, and I'm choosing A because it's a handy note for me to sing and play. So I'm going to play A again, and sing ah. and be careful, if you sing eh, you'll get that in the sound. We want ah. combine the two together, and then on its own. So when you play the sound on its own, you should have all of this involved. Experiment with it, it won't do you any harm whatsoever.